One time Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was invited by an Arabi, a villager, a very humble man in a very humble area, in a very humble house. Did he accept the invite? Yes, he did. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam went to the Arabi's house. This Bedouin, he honored the guest, i.e. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And of course, Rasulullah honored him by his presence. Then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, Ittina. Now you come to my place. So the Prophet went to the Bedouin. The Prophet told him, next time you come over my place. So this man took the invite. The Arabi, he goes to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's place. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, akrama, he honored the guest. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, before the Arabi leaves, he said, Is'al ma shayt. Ask, make a wish. Allahu Akbar. Ask whatever you want. So what does he ask for? He says, I want a camel, pregnant camel and a lot of sheep and goats so I can have it, pass it down to my family. That's my wish. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is gonna give us all the ummah of Muhammad a teaching lesson from right here. He tells the Sahaba, were you guys not able to be like the old lady from the children of Israel? So what do the Sahaba will say? And who is the old lady from the children of Ben Israel? You're talking thousands of years ago. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is gonna share with us a story, this authentic hadith. He says, when Musa alayhi salam was seeking to escape Egypt with Bani Israel and run away from Fir'aun. As they're approaching the sea, before the sea split, they lost their way. So Musa says, Mahada. Musa is like struggling. Where's the way? We lost the way. What's going on? The scholars from Bani Israel at that time, they told Musa, I think we know why. Tell us, Yusuf alayhi salam, the first one from Bani Israel to move to Egypt. As he was dying, he told Bani Israel, if you ever were to leave Egypt, take my body with you. And we did not take his body. So Musa alayhi salam says, and okay, and where is his body? Let's dig the grave. If that's what the command of the Prophet, we honor the command, we dig the grave. He said, no one knows it. Subhanallah, except one person. Who is that person? The old lady from Bani Israel. Direct me, where is she at? She's right there. So she comes, the only one that knows where the grave of Prophet Yusuf alayhi salam is. So Musa alayhi salam, he asks her, Ayna qabru? Qalat la wallah. No Allah will not tell you. Subhanallah. Until you grant me my wish. And he said, okay, and what's your wish? This whole story the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasalam is telling you because of this moment. What will she ask for? The man asked for a camel, goat. Is she going to ask for a castle, a mansion, righteous progeny? Oh, it's all khair, it's all good. She asked him, I want one thing, to be your neighbor and companion in Jannah, ya Musa. Allahu Akbar. Musa alayhi salam was shocked and did not feel motivated enough to make dua to Allah for her. You're just giving me where the location of the grave is. That's it. People give up their lives. People die in battlefields. People donate everything they have. People leave countries. They emigrate all this for Jannah. And you want to go Jannah and be with the prophets just because of a piece of information where you will direct me where the grave is at. So Allah revealed to Musa, Tell her her wish is granted. Allahu Akbar. She will have the best spot in Jannah, companions to the prophets. Because Allah saw in that lady which no one can see. He saw the heart. The heart was filled of love to Allah. The heart filled with love to Akhirah and the Jannah and being with the prophets of Allah. And that's when our true colors appear. So she always used to say, I want to be with the prophets in Jannah. I want to be with the prophets in Jannah. She has a golden opportunity. She can ask for anything in the world. And she asked for that. True colors appeared. So then Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, told the Sahaba, I want you to learn from this lady. High ambition. Don't say, Akhi, if all what I get is just, you know, just enter Jannah, even first level, Wallahi, I'm good. That's not the attitude of a mu'min. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, if you ask Allah for Jannah, ask for the highest level in Jannah. I don't deserve it. We don't deserve any level, people. <laughs> I don't deserve any level. No one, not even Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. How is that? He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, no one goes to Jannah due to their actions. They said, Ya Rasulullah, not even you. He said, not even me. My actions alone do not qualify me to get the position in Jannah. Unless Allah showers me with His mercy. So to get Allah's mercy, the prerequisite is the actions. Actions alone will never take me. So this lady said, I got it, you got it. 
Where is it? It's here. It was a pond. There's water. She said, empty the water. They got the buckets, empty the water, empty the water. Then she said, Uhfuru, dig. And they start digging and digging until they saw the body of Yusuf السلام, and they picked it up. And the moment they picked it up, for those who know, Musa السلام, escaped with Bani Israel during the night. The hadith says the moment they grabbed the body, the light was so clear that they're able to know exact destination, exact location. And Nur will come your way and my way when we follow the commands of the Prophet So have this high ambition, have this high hope in Allah, think well of Allah and know. Many people ask, how do I know if I'm honest or not? How do I know if I'm sincere or not? Those moments that you always wanted, they will come inshallah. And when they come, you will know whether you're honest that day, you wished for it or not.